All right, hi guys, it's Mr. C with lesson 83 in our Saxon math. This is on proportions. We use proportions because often we'll compare things or we'll need a ratio, and we might scale that up or scale that down. So we've done proportion in the past. We've talked about like rolling the dice and you know, if it was an even roll, that would be three out of the six options. So we would say it's three of six, or we might write that as three of six. Now the ratio or the proportion on that, we can reduce and we could say that's one out of two. You see that this is equal. One out of two is the same as three to six. So we're just scaling. Today we're gonna practice that and we're gonna do that with some unknown variables, okay? So, if we have peaches and they're going for three pounds for four dollars, we'd write that as a three over four expression. Now, that's the same as buying six pounds for eight dollars, nine pounds or for twelve dollars. You see how that ratio is constant. It's always the same, okay? So they're going to equal each other. Um, nine over 12 is the same as three over four. We know that's true because you can reduce it and it'll go to the same number, okay? So we can write, a, a proportion is a true statement that two ratios are equal. Here's an example, three is to four as six is to eight, okay? So in this first example, we'll look at two is to three as what is to what? So which ratio forms a proportion with two over three? Is it two over four, three over four, four over six, or three over two? We have to say which one is equal. If we had to reduce or, or scale it up, which one would be the same? In this case, two is to three as four is to six. So we could write that as two as to three equals four as to six. And we know that's true because if we reduce this, it would go to two is to three, or we could say two goes to four two times, and if we multiply it by two over two, then two times two is four, three times two is six, so it checks out. So here our equivalent ratio is C. All right, let's do Oh, it's having us check our work. How can we verify that two is to three and four is to six to form? We just reduce it. So just as I did, that's what we want to do. Here on example two, write this proportion with digits. Four is to six as six is to nine. So four is to six as six is to nine. Okay. So that's an equal proportion. Now, if we four, we can't multiply four by two to get to six or anything like that. So if we wanted to check our work on this, it's a little different. Oh, and I'm gonna skip that for now. So, so we're gonna go to this, to our unknown. We can use proportions to solve a, a variety of problems um, with an unknown term. So here, where we'd say three is to five as six is to what? Now they're using a, usually when we do algebra, we use an X, but it really doesn't matter. It's just our unknown variable. One way to find an unknown term in a proportion is to determine the fractional name for one that can be multiplied by one of its ratios. So in this case, we're taking the three is, three is to five as six is to what? Well, we know three times two equals six. So if we multiply it by two over two, if we have two on the top, we need to have two on the bottom. Three times two is six, five times two is 10. So three is to five as six is to 10. That's the same ratio or the same proportion. So complete this proportion. Two is to six as what number is to 30? We'll start by writing it. Two is to six as what number, I'm gonna use x, is to 30. All right, now we don't know what two goes into x, but we know six can go into 30 five times. So we can say six times five 
equals 30. And if we put five on the bottom, we need to put on the top. Two times five equals 10. And so X would equal 10. So our ratio here is 10 is to 30. And we have to see if that checks out. If we reduce 10 to 30, um, that's gonna reduce to one third at its bottom. Does two six reduce to one third? Yes, so it's an equal proportion. Okay, and so again, it's just saying reduce it to its lowest proportion, that way we can see if it's equal. If you take both of your um, proportions and reduce both of them, they should have the same answer. All right, and then we've got our practice set. I'll leave this up just for a minute so you can look at it. But this is our assignment for today is lesson 83 on proportions. Thanks.